What Thank happened you for yesterday? Me. Tell us in your own yesterday words what we, happened yesterday. Go ahead. Sorry. Yesterday, we had planned um, an open air town hall. Um, we've had a lot of space for people to spread out um, and be safe. We advertised it as a family friendly event. And there were people who um, advertised a confront Katie Porter rally. Um, they attended the event as they were welcome to do, um, but they began to shout and eventually violence broke out. Um, it was really disappointing and scary, especially for families and seniors and others who were there. Um, and I think we need to hear from every single elected official, regardless of party, that this is not democracy. The group was led by a Republican who's uh, running against you, who is a white supremacist, among other things, a Nazi sympathizer. Uh, and the, when you when you saw this happening and, and you decided to run toward the chaos, uh, what were you thinking when you ran to protect that woman? Well, there were no police in the immediate area. There were police on the grounds, but they were not nearby. Um, and I, as it began to continue, you began to hear people cry for help. Um, and so I went up um, to, we had a couple people with disabilities, people using walkers who couldn't move out of the way. And I was very afraid that they were going to get knocked over. Um, so I simply put my arm around them, um, told her to stand there. I was going to stand there with her until the police were able to disperse the situation. Now, uh, after January 6th, uh, when there were people attacking the Capitol, looking for Democratic members of Congress like you to physically attack them, uh, possibly kill them. We don't know what they were going to do when they got there. Uh, what is it like when you see something like this uh, break out uh, in otherwise peaceable Irvine, California? I mean, it's inc this is my home, so it's incredibly disappointing to have it happen here. Irvine has been the safest city of its size for 15 years running. And, you know, we made sure that we had plenty of space for everyone to attend. We took steps to make sure that every single person had an equal opportunity to ask a question, putting their questions in a bingo ball spinner that we drew them from. I made very clear at the beginning, everyone is welcome here, but we need to be civil and listen to each other. And it was incredibly heartbreaking when that happened. You know, I didn't, after January 6th, it's hard to feel safe in Washington right now. And now it's hard to feel safe in Irvine. And some of these people uh, attacking your event yesterday may very well be recipients of the child tax credit starting this week. Uh, and they presumably will have no idea that they have you to thank for that. Well, we were trying to share with all of the audience about the child tax credit. And I think that's the real loss here. Everybody lost. Whether you agree with me or disagree with me, you weren't able to hear what I was saying. You weren't able to get an answer to your questions because you were creating such a disturbance and ultimately there was violence. And so I think even for those who disagreed, they weren't able to even find out what is happening and how it might affect them and then be able to make up their mind. And that's when I say this event was really counter to the very purpose of a town hall. It also made it hard for me to hear what constituents had to say over the shouting and the noise. Uh, you, you're, you, you're going to be having town halls. Presumably you try to do this again. You're also going to be having a re-election campaign uh, next year uh, in, this, in these same places. Uh, do you expect this to just follow you around? I certainly hope not. We're going to continue to make sure that we are doing everything we can to keep anyone who wants to come hear me or speak with me safe. And that's regardless of whether party, regardless of their views. What was really particularly upsetting about yesterday was the fact that people on both, you know, people from one side, supporters and people who were there to confront were all dragged into it. Like I said, innocent seniors just simply sitting there to listen were nearly hurt. Carson, Katie Porter, if you uh, had a minute, as you do right now, to say the single most important thing that you wanted to say at your town hall uh, yesterday, what would that be? The most important thing I wanted to tell people is that we have to focus on an economic recovery that creates work and also helps workers. So we were talking not just about infrastructure and job creation, but also about help for workers, things like broadband and childcare. And that was really the message I was trying to convey and get feedback from my constituents about what kind of support as workers they needed.